I'm not vibing with this flavor. Oh my god, I saw a guy. Thank you. A guy like ranked in and he put that high. Can I try it? I like it. I had it at your place first, but I think compared to like the strawberry, I love this one. Yeah, I'm not a cherry or a lime. You know what it tastes like? Cough syrup. No, strawberry like yo play yogurt. It has that aftertaste. Uh -huh. I love yo play yogurt. Wow. Oh. Ramble. Pretty Basic. Thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Remy Cruz. I am your co-host, Alicia Marie. We are having comp vibes, comp vibes comp. in the studio right now. We really are. I'm so excited to go home and sleep. I'm ready, but before then, I'm excited because today we're going to play a game. Should we just get into the game? Do we want to chit chat at all? I think we should... I'm trying to get into it. I'm really excited. I mean, if you guys have been listening to the pod for a while, I feel like in the first, like, second to third year we played a lot of games back and forth mm -hmm. and it was so fun but we haven't really played like a game like this about each other in so long and today we're going to be playing the newlyweds game i'm excited because i feel like we have a lot of friends who are getting engaged um i also went to a baby shower recently and they did like just the fun little games and i I was like, Remy, let's see how well we really know each other. I love a party game. Like, guess how many ping pong balls are in the container? Uh, guess like the, 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 you did the baby animal that goes with the, the yes. mommy animal. I love a fun party game. And this seems fun. I mean, I think this was like a big tag on YouTube back in the day too. And it's like a boyfriend type, best friend tag yes. type thing. But Similar to like who knows each other better too. But we have like a certain amount of questions. <laughs> I, just I, read one. I haven't read them yet. And I guess we, oh, <laughs> and I guess we will just answer back and forth. We have whiteboards. So I highly recommend watching this episode on YouTube if you guys are not watching on YouTube. But we'll also still talk you through in case you're driving, mm -hmm. maybe in your commute. I hope you have a wonderful day at work or wherever you're going. Kill that presentation. Mm -hmm. Ask for that raise. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <sighs> Ooh, that was good. That was good. All right. Well, I guess we'll just get into it. We're going to ask each other questions back and forth. And then the person that we are asking the question to writes down the real answer on their whiteboard and we'll see if we're right or not. So do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? Um, I'll start. Okay. What are Remy's parents' names? Okay. We can give her one point if she gets the names and also one point if she spells it correctly. <sighs> I'm giving you opportunities for more points. Suzanne Ashley Cruz. Oh my God. And Ani Cruz. She spelled it right. Ani, I was, I was like, oh, we're you A. You spelled or it A. right. Ah! A and I, like those chuggy bracelets. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, I got it. Wait, you did such a good job. <laughs> She's going to love that you gave her full name. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne Ashley Cruz. Um, another point for her Korean name. Wu oh. head on. Damn it. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay. Oh. Where did you first meet Alicia and what was she wearing? So I write that down correct <laughs> fuck what hotel i always forget what hotel i think i remember wait do i remember what i was wearing i know i have a vlog i know what i wore the f i don't remember what you were wearing either oh my god oh my god no was it that i i had like a flashback to a photo and i was like but now i'm interchanging the, my fit i'm gonna just guess three two one orange maxi oh, dress i wrote Circle skirt and baby tee. It probably was But that. you didn't write down, where did we meet? Oh, I didn't hear the where. The standard where? hotel. Standard hotel rooftop. <laughs> Check. Now I'm wondering what I was wearing. We got to go back to that vlog. Mm -hmm. I don't remember it all. I've never seen you in an orange maxi dress though, from my memory. Okay, probably wasn't that then. <laughs> Ooh, number two. Which one of you is more honest? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Honest with other people or ourselves? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I just wrote in general. One, three, two, two one. one. Alicia. Alicia. Okay, yay. <laughs> Alicia's like so honest, but it, it's like blunt sometimes. I'm sorry. I try to get better. No, actually. Um, no, no, no. You're totally fine. But at one point I like stopped 
you know how you actually, this is actually so funny. You came to me because you were like, Rem, I feel like you're not coming to me with your problems because I feel like I would come to you and be like, this was happening, but I fixed it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever told you. The reasoning why I stopped for a while was because you are so honest and you're just such a creative mind (laughs) that, you know, I'd have a worry, but then when I'd propose it to you, you would say such outlandish things things (laughs) things <laughs> that it would put new worries in my head where I'd be like oh I didn't even think about that you'd be like well what about this I'm, I'm like, like uh, oh shit I didn't think so then it would stress me out I'm okay now and obviously I've come to you more no, now I would be like oh you're probably scared he's gonna like yeah. break up with you soon huh yeah and you're like I actually wasn't <laughs> yeah, exactly. but now I am no I'm so sorry no 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 but so sorry it, it also was just like um time and place time and like place. I realized Oh, maybe I, I didn't, I wasn't ready to hear a possible outlandish idea, but when I am and I am now, I've well, come to you. You loved it when I was like, oh my God, this guy's in love with you. And I was using the Delulu to my advantage. Uh, advantage. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, is it me? Yeah. <clears throat> Which one of you is the better driver? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so curious what you're going to write. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Three, two, one. Alicia, Remy's a better driver. No, Remy, you think you think I'm a bad driver? I don't think you're a bad. I just think I'm a better driver. I think I'm a better driver. You brake so late. Okay. Mm-hmm. Keep going, and then I'll defend myself. Well, also after I've been re-rendered twice on the freeway and gotten into very bad accidents, neither of which were ever my fault. Um, now I'm just hyper vigilant when I drive. So I, I mean, I know I'm slower <laughs> and I'm very cautious, but it's because I literally got. Uh, rear-ended and totaled on the freeway. No, I get that. I think in my head, I took it more as like, you c- hit curbs all the time and you broke your like side mirror all like a lot. Like you've done stuff. Like you, I just see you as like- Okay, <laughs> I understand that. You get two into one Dua Lipa song and knock off your mirror and suddenly it sticks <laughs> with you forgets. forever. But I'm not, I can't go over a curb. My car would literally not allow it. So if I could, would I do it? I don't know. I Okay, you know what? We'll call it a draw. A draw? Okay, yeah, that's because fine. I did- scuff up my rim the week I got the car so I and I did get rid of you are you are a good like cautious driver thank you but it's solely because like I think if I had never gotten hit in college Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of driver I was I was probably really bad so I've learned to brake late because of the car that I have now I will the brakes before I used to be like gentle yeah it's like (laughs) oh okay that makes sense Mm -hmm. but (laughs) draw (laughs) draw Who spends the most money on personal items? Define personal. <laughs> Three, two, one. Remy. We both, <laughs> we both had hearts because it's so hard. <laughs> Remy, wow. Yeah, definitely me. I mean, I love a thing, and then I love getting that thing in every color. Well, and not only personal items, like you will buy anyone anything. Oh, yeah. Like you just like love shop. I love shopping too. I love gifting things. You love gifting, you love shopping. Okay, what is Alicia's hidden talent? Ooh. Don't put drums or like something musical because that's obviously a really good hidden talent, but like we could all guess that. I feel like we need (laughs) something else, like something like hidden. Oh, she's writing a lot. (laughs) She's got a lot of hidden talent. Three, two, one. Singing. Food tasting. That is a good talent. (laughs) I put singing. I think that you are a good singer. Um, But I do agree that you have a really crazy talent to try something and feel like it tastes like something else. Was it recording earlier when I said this tastes like a strawberry yolk? It was. Yes. Please insert that now because genuinely that's what this tastes like. This bitch can't enjoy something and just enjoy it. It has to be like, oh my God, this tastes like, what is it? A something I had when I was oh. thir- like 12 at summer camp. I'm like, it tastes like a fruit by the foot if you dip it in candy. Exactly. <laughs> it's very impressive. It's very specific. It is. It is a hidden talent. Oh, who is Remy's celebrity hall pass? <gasps> Wait, but I've kind of changed I it. I know. I think when I, oh, I just did in my truth or drink with Cal, I switched it. I'm going to change it right now. I haven't. Yeah. Whatever you're feeling in this moment. Can I put a few? Sure. (laughs) I'll just tell you we talked about him today. (gasps) Fuck. Imagine I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) keep that in. Keep that in. (laughs) Um. Oh my God! Who did we talk about today? We've talked about so many people. I'll give you a hint. Cartoon, not a cartoon, but that will give you a hint for his name. (laughs) Hey, Mickey. And I'm like, (laughs) not on that. Oh, 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 oh. Did you put Chris Evans? Chris Evans is now engaged. I did not know And that. she's 25 and he's 40 and I don't, 
Mm. I don't love that. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, I like Andrew Garfield more. Sorry, Chris Evans. I agree. Also, read it and weep, bitch. Chris Evans knows he's America's ass. You know what I mean? But like no longer also. Now yeah. it's Anthony Mackie. But like, I like how Andrew Garfield, like he still seems a little like, like subdued. No, like a little humble. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What is Alicia's worst habit? Ooh. I mean, we could go on. Oh, this is a good question. Interrupting. Oh, I was going to do very specific. Oh, <laughs> she was like, no, you have a worse one. No, well, like in general, I would say. Uh, but, okay, let me, I mean, I have a few. I just don't know how much I want to expose myself. <laughs> Okay, we'll go with interrupting. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, you can you can do another one if you want. <laughs> it's not really a, the worst habit. It's just funny. <laughs> I'm nervous. Three, two, one. Interrupting oh. Remy and I put the wrong use of marinade. <laughs> what? A lot of times you'll tell me like, oh, you just like marinate on that. But marinate's only for me. <laughs> I've just never felt like I needed to tell you no, until I now. No, I know, I know, I know. Oh my God. Ruminate is to think. No. Marinate is for me. Okay. <laughs> I know that, but I knew, I knew I was using marinate and I just thought I just used that word for that, but I didn't know ruminate is the equivalent. Yes. Marinating is only for me. Oh, I liked it. Cause I remember talking to a friend and she was like, oh yeah, like just marinate on that idea. And I was like, oh my God, I love that saying. I'm going to use it. <laughs> and I never knew Remy was like, mm -hmm, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> I never knew she was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Let's cut that. No, it's I'm just so getting funny. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna get more savage now. <laughs> Who is better in bed? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this was a newlywed game. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> so we both put Alicia. Um, my medication, my getting off birth control. Oh my well, on birth control, my libido was way low, and I did discuss that on an upcoming video. Um, so I just really haven't been like feeling it. So I imagine you'd be better when you're like, I'm not feeling it. I was gonna put you. I wasn't thinking about the libido thing. Mm, I would say you. Really? I mean, not that I would know, but I would just say you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ruminating on it. I Rum say I'm gonna start you. saying ruminate. <laughs> After I ruminate on it, let me ruminate on that. R ruminate. Ruminate. <laughs> what song describes your friendship? <laughs> mm, oh my God. Like title or like lyrics? No, like title. Hold on, let me, can I like look through my phone? I want to think, let me ruminate. <laughs> uh, come on, it's good. <laughs> Did you find one? <laughs> also to those who don't like us singing, you're gonna want to click out because we are gonna sing. You go first. You wish by who? I had a boss. Who is that? What song is that? It's like, guys, you're not a sin again. Oh, that I one? Like that member, I'm not feeling him. And then it's like, my bestie has a synonym. And she's like, I've been swimming in, uh, in these The girls that are deals. running, yeah, yes. Like my, Michael Phelps. Love that. You Didn't wish. know that's what it was called, but I, those girls I are so I love that. They're, gonna blo they're blowing up. Like, they're they are so talented. Up. I wrote True Friend by Hannah Montana. <gasps> you're a true ooh, ooh, friend. You're there till the end. No, I have a better one. I have mm -hmm. a better one. I have a better you one. Pull me aside when something ain't right. Talk with me now and into the night till it's all right again. You're a true friend. Oh, <gasps> wicked for good. Oh, she's crying because I knew you. And then you gotta hit the high note. Because I knew you. <laughs> I haven't changed. Let's actually see oh. like when the audio <laughs> listeners dipped out here. Okay. What is Remy's guilty pleasure? 
Ooh. What is my guilty pleasure? <laughs> I keep laughing at ruminate. <laughs> Correcting people on the word of <laughs> Honestly, I do get a kick out of being crazy about <laughs> grammar. I'm such an I'm a, such a pick me grammar girl. Hold on, let me think of a real answer. I wrote VPR and knitting. Oh wow, you hit me with two. I was I would not have really. Written. No, I don't think I would have written that. You what would you have written? Realistically, I would have put like g- gardening, guilty pleasure. Like you love that, or I don't feel guilty about. Do you still use the? <laughs> I gave you better in bed and you just gave me that. So rude. What do you mean? (laughs) Guilty pleasure. (laughs) We used to go to the treasure chest all the time together. Okay. Pleasure chest. (laughs) What did I say? Treasure chest. (laughs) What dog breed would Alicia be? Which we did answer this on unfiltered forever uh, ago. My God, I forgot. And we said those gorgeous dogs that are always walking around your neighborhood. Afghan hound. I don't think I picked that one though, but like I agree. No, it was stunning the, hair. It was the hair. They're, those dogs hair is stunning. So, like locks of love. We'll put a photo adjacent. here. Um, okay. I'm going to give you a new breed now. Oh, I'm going to like, they don't know you as well. So I feel like they gave you like based on looks. I'm mm. going to give you based on uh, like, oh God, let's do looks and personality. Can we do me too? Cause this is fun. I do agree with the Afghan hound. It's like the long face and the neck. Uh, like I get it. The neck, the hair. Afghan hound, I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I need a personality dog. Oh, I got that one so quick. Wait, why are you laughing at the looks one? <laughs> <laughs> personality. Wait. What? Vibrant. Loyal tough rosie three two one chihuahua <laughs> looks ginger big poodle named michelle <laughs> with like the the little pom-poms wait i was thinking of a big poodle i think a big poodle but I, like if i had curly hair naturally i think for sure i was thinking like at first a toy poodle but i was like no you just give big poodle energy yeah <laughs> and personality chihuahua loyal kind of chaotic are they loyal look at momo Oh, you are Momo. Actually, Ollie and I were talking about that the other day. I'm Daisy, you're Momo, and he's Luna. I see that. Yeah, I see that. Loyal, loving, but kind of crazy. Kind of will get in your face. I don't think I'm if a chihuahua. If antagonized, will get in your face. <laughs> I think I'm Chloe. No, kind of a bitch. No. No. Likes being by herself. I think Ash is Chloe. Ash is Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Ash. Love you, Ash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> These are funny. Who is most more? Who is more likely to electrocute themselves? <laughs> oh, I've done it. So me. Really? Yeah. I was gonna say me, but <laughs> Remy. I would like shove shit into like outlets when I was a kid. Oh my god! Not like obviously like too bad, but like I felt the shock a bit. Oh my god! Sometimes oh. just to feel something. Did you ever lick a nine volt battery? No. That's how you can tell if there's still like juice. Oh, in the it. little. Zzz. The old, <gasps> don't do that, kids. Allegedly. Who is the <laughs> most stubborn in your relationship? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to only put hearts when it's mean. <laughs> Me too. When oh, there's some truth to it. As a sun Aquarius rising Leo moon Taurus, I am the fucking worst. No, you're not. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm working on it. You've gotten better. I'm also having my mom as a mother who is the most stubborn woman in the world. I've been trying. What is Remy's most embarrassing moment? Other than the backlash for giving a man who ghosted me a phone to then wait, 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 ghost wait. me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, let me answer, let me answer. No, wait, wait. Most embarrassing moment? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> like this one, I have so many, but like this one really haunts me. At like very random times, like in the shower, on a drive, doing the dishes. Oh no, falling off the bar in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> when I, that, that was the worst that was the worst i had such secondhand embarrassment and i was like just pretend it didn't happen because it, so it was so bad for me. that 
that one really was bad. I fell off the bar in Ohio one time in front of in front of a bunch of people that I like shouldn't have embarrassed myself in front of. No, it wasn't even that. It was just like it was okay. There's there's tripping, and you laugh because it's like embarrassing, right? Hmm. Then there's tripping where it's so. It was so bad. You, everyone's like, that was so bad. I had to laugh. Yeah. Then there was <laughs> there's a new then level. There's a new level of it was so 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 bad. We all just we all just turned and pretended we didn't see it to make you feel better. It like wasn't even a trip. Like it was like a cartoon where like the you know the bunnies chasing or like the 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 lions chasing the bunny and then it's like whoa and like the feet flat like go slipping up in the air and you land on your ass and your back and your head like that's what it was yeah but i will say it was dark so it maybe dark. not everybody saw no, but i just remember seeing your knee-high boot above where air. your head would have been <laughs> and it, i was just like what happened yeah that one really like <laughs> haunts you. that one haunts me i would say oh that's my definitely God. my most embarrassing no, moment I, i'm just so glad i was there to witness it thank you so much <laughs> thank you who falls asleep first oof one, two, three. Oh, really? I mean, lately, I just, I have insomnia. I feel like it takes me forever to fall asleep. Interesting. But now I'm trying to think of whenever we've traveled together. Yeah, when we have sleepovers. Yeah. I feel like I'm usually on TikTok longer. That's true. You're right. I'm like night. But Alicia's like the best. I refuse to sleep with anybody else other than Cal or Alicia. This is my hidden talent. Mm. This is my hidden talent. You're the only person that I want to share a room with other than Cal, but even he snores like you are the most sound peaceful sleeper you don't move you just like you're so comfortable to sleep next to I pride myself on that Mm -hmm. and it makes me happy but what's so funny is every night it's like that because I kid you not Rosie takes up the entire bed I'm so used to it I sleep on the edge of my literal (laughs) king bed and she'll sleep sideways right next to me and she's barely in the middle like we're we're, I literally am on the like the last foot of the bed every night you're you're being trained you're so great to sleep with you're so quiet you like literally don't move you're my favorite person to sleep with wow even more than Cal hear that Cal it's true because Cal, I've got to like push to stop snoring. I'm like, can you turn on your side, please? She said I'm better in bed. <laughs> I did say that. Okay. Oh, fuck. What is Remy's most used emoji? <gasps> oh, I know. I. Th- okay, I've got it. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, Either the smiling, crying, like so like pleading so, like, eyes, like so happy yeah. or the double hearts. I used to always use the double hearts. Wait, show, wait, go on your text. What is the number one emoji you have? Oh, isn't it just most recent or is it most used? It's like most used and most recent. It's a little com- combination. Mine's a white heart and then the crying face. Love that for me. <laughs> everyone, everyone listening, I need you to comment on the YouTube video what your most commonly used emoji is. So we can all compare. Actually, mine is the sobbing. <laughs> no, literally, I was like, that's my second one, the sobbing. Um, I love the pleading, like, I like the smiling, pleading eyes. I used to use, like, the sad one, but now I'm like, when I'm happy, I love that yeah. one. Okay, who was on the ox when you're in the car? Oh, easy. Easy. E. Z. Three, two, one. Remy. Remy. You it- drive in silence a lot, I've noticed. Um, I... I- don't when I'm by myself, but I feel like I've always got, I've always been someone who I'm like, oh my God, I hope I play good music for people. <laughs> I mean, I just play like a Spotify playlist. I know. Well, now I do, mm-hmm. but like. <laughs> but every time we drive, it's always silent. I don't know if you've picked up on that. I when, when you pick me up, it's always silent. I probably was listening to Hamilton and I turned it down before you got I've always in the just car. Like, oh, she just doesn't listen to no, music. No, 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 no. Very interesting. I'm just very aware of like, oh, I hope they like whatever music this is. And clearly I just. I can't really focus when I'm driving and having a conversation and music. Do you ever turn down the volume so you can see better yeah, driving? Everybody does. And the Costco parking lot, mute. You're like, <laughs> it's true. Wait, why Costco? Because there's so many people and giant carts and On kids a running. Oh, chicken bakes flying. Okay. What is Alicia's best quality? <gasps> Finally, a good one about me. <laughs> <laughs> best? Mm. That was so easy for me. One, two, three. Oh, 
<laughs> I put loyal. You are loyal, but I also said willingness to always help. Aww. I feel like the first thing out of your mouth, which is obviously like also um, feeds into loyalty. But okay. I feel like anytime you're always like, what can I do? How can I help? And you love helping people. And I think that is oh a God. wonderful trait about you. But that Thank is obviously, you. again, but a branch also, of loyalty. I was going to say, I can't really answer though. So like you have the better answer. Mm. <laughs> loyal. I'm so loyal. <laughs> I love it though. Ooh, this one might be hard. Who runs late more often, you or Remy? Uh, I feel like we're really, truly split. I think so too. Especially because like when we hang out, I'm like, I know you know I'm gonna be late, and you know I'm gonna be late. So we're like, but like today I was late, but I feel but like most of the time I'm late. late here. I do have a farther commute. You do. <laughs> I'll say, but for random appointments, like even if we're not involved. Three, two, one. Alicia. Oh, I'm Remy. I'm always like 10 minutes late. I'd say Not always. Mm. it just, it depends. I'm, I'm like 50, 50 being late to things, not by too long, but like I usually am. I will say late. really quickly. Um, when my assistant started working for me, I think within a few months she realized, oh, I just have to put a 10 minute buffer. Otherwise she will, she's constantly 10 minutes late. So I just need to move that. So now I'm, I'm good. Yeah. But for the most part, I am usually. I've started doing that for myself. Like if I make a hair appointment, it's at 9 15. I'll put it in nine in my calendar because by the time that the appointment comes, I forgot. Even so, I get there on time. Also, even with like dogs and stuff, I always underestimate how much time, how long it takes to get Rosie to go outside, go to the bathroom, and then go to her spot. Like she will, she'll sit there and be like, no. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, today out of all days, Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm so late. Agreed. Who is more likely to apologize first? (laughs) What? don't know what's what's gonna happen I put Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> you're so scared yeah, like, <laughs> no you are I with being a stubborn person I um am stubborn when it comes to apologizing which I know is a fatal flaw and something that I'm working on and it's okay you are I feel like I am more like I think I don't know I feel like I just take a long time to like process and think about things and then like in the midst of that I'll be like oh oh I fucked up. I'm sorry. Whereas I feel like you immediately like, I'm so sorry. And then you take time to like Mm -hmm. process and think about things. I feel like in a bad way, I'm like self-aware of what I've, I do wrong, but then it's harder for me to communicate how someone else has hurt me. Mm -hmm. Where I feel like you're the opposite. You're Mm -hmm. like, Hey, this hurt me. And you're so good at voicing that. But then the opposite of like, Oh, I guess I did this. Yeah. You know, for sure. For sure. What movie always makes Remy cry? Oh, I know. Well, I've got a few. Movie, not show. Yeah. I've got, I'll put two. That I know I you're going to get it. I know you're going to get it. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, that was a good one, though. I didn't put it down. Okay. Turning red, everything, everywhere, all at once. Crazy Rich Asians. Oh, I was and what like, a girl what wants. is CRA? Sorry. Cooking Remy. Cooking Remy <laughs> Alicia. and. Cooking Remy and Alicia. Crazy Rich Asians. Crazy Rich Asians. Um, specifically the scene where the wedding begins, actually, and then the plane scene, obviously. Mm-hmm. What a girl wants when the dad, Colin Firth, comes on the boat at the end for the mom when she's singing at the wedding, turning red the whole movie. Oh my God. Uh, what about yeah. you? What movie makes you cry? The Notebook. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. You, I would love to watch it with you when you do. Mm, I'm okay. okay. Madison Beer scared me. What is the name of Alicia's best friend aside from you, Ashley, and the rest of the crew? <laughs> when did they? Uh, oh, I spelled it wrong. Shit. It's okay. Alicia. <laughs> Which is funny for people who don't know. Alicia loves Alicia, but it's a different Alicia. I know. My best friend in high school, her name is Alicia. She's um, so cute. And she's the best. Is the baby almost here? Due in like a month. Oh my, that went by fast. (gasps) Oh my God, you're going to be an auntie. I can't wait to visit. She's an auntie. What is your favorite feature of Remy's? (gasps) What's your favorite feature of yourself? And then what's my favorite feature? Or what do you think I'm going to say? Three, two, one. Fake smile. (laughs) (laughs) You're like the veneers. No, I love your eyes. Thank you so much. I love them. <laughs> Especially when like you stopped wearing so much makeup. I remember being like Remy. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, you know what I mean? No. What I love about this though is like we're we're being true best friends. Like we're like answering the questions and like being like a little shady, no, but it's because we're best friends. Earlier and it's when you funny. were like, you can be a little blunt. I'm like, yeah, you look yeah. so much better without it. You used to just wear those like thick lashes all the time. Oh, and I wore like, insane lashes. I just can never even see your now. Eyes. No, but it's like, a little bigger, yeah. No, no, no. I like them now. I just feel like I don't know. I like your eyes. Thank you so much. The smile too, obviously. Thank you. You didn't say the last one. Oh, and your symmetric face. <laughs> <laughs> marinate <laughs> <laughs> okay what is pretty basics anniversary day oh my god well i know one but what about the real one what's one wait i thought we only had one am i crazy is it this is this no okay wait i think i know what i know what i know what i think i'm like this is too good to be true there's Three, no way two, it's one. 14 october 3rd what? i thought it was october 14th 2019 19 i had short hair Oh wait, was it? No, it was 2018. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah, oopsies. Wow, we've been doing this for a while. Wait. (gasps) October 24th, 2018. (laughs) Thank you. Damn, I did not know that. Wow. Five years, we're coming up on five years. That's crazy, Ram. Sorry, that was me. Oh, (gasps) someone's at the door. We've never ever had someone. It's Ashley Tisdale. Imagine it's like a guest. Wait, Remy, why did you have to surprise me? I'm scared. All right, we've all been hearing so much about AI lately, okay? But did you know you can actually use AI to help you with your homework, with your work, write some essays? I'm going to be honest. I've been using AI to help write my (laughs) captions for posts. Are you kidding? Because I've been doing this for too long, and I'm really bad at captions naturally, and my brain just can't do it anymore so i started using it and you haven't even noticed wait no i literally had no idea it's fantastic remy honestly that's come in so clutch for me and now grammarly is bringing you grammarly go to help tackle your projects it's a new product that brings the capabilities of personalized ai to the grammarly experience and i will be using this through personalized ai technology grammarly go lets you customize writing by your preferred voice and goals so you can get through your to-do list more easily than ever before Seriously, Grammarly Go can help with everything from like our podcast research and scripting for, you know, videos that we might have. It can help you with captions. Like I said, Grammarly Go can cut that time down exponentially and help you with drafts instantly. If you're lost, here are some examples. You can say, give me ideas for decorating a taco truck or give me 10 possible taglines for a video thumbnail. You can also reply quickly. Reading emails can take a lot of time. And with Grammarly Go's reply feature, it can basically now summarize your email and just help you come up with the perfect reply to that person. You can also write and rewrite instantly. So you can get instant rewrites and keep tweaking with writing until you're satisfied. Simply just select the text that you want to rewrite and give Grammarly Go a prompt. So you can, you know, say, make it sound exciting, make it sound interesting, make it sound sad, whatever you want. They've got you covered. (laughs) Trying to apply for jobs? Quickly generate a tailored cover letter with Grammarly in seconds. Or only have a couple hours to finalize a project? Use Grammarly Go to rewrite your project until you're satisfied. And the best part of this, guys, is that it's free to use. So you'll be amazed at what you can do with Grammarly Go. Go to Grammarly.com slash go to download and learn more about Grammarly Go. That's G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com slash go. So you're out, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm also out of questions. Well. Wow. Wait, do you think you did better or me? I think... I really don't know. I don't know if we did that well, to be honest. <laughs> no, I, well, it doesn't matter how well we did overall. It just matters who got more. It just matters if we had fun or not. Like, you're so right. And what we learned what about each other. I learned is I know how to spell your dad's name right. Yep. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Um, I also learned that <laughs> you think I'm good in bed. <laughs> also, I, I now I know my hidden talent is that I am one of the best solid non-snoring sleepers in the world. I agree with that. Like out of everyone I've ever slept with, you're the best. Oh, thank you. And I learned that I am symmetrical mm-hmm. and um, that I'm really stubborn. Wait, you know what's funny is I was saying all things I learned about you. <laughs> you were oh, all about me. <laughs> you're like, I'm symmetrical. I was like, yeah, bitch. I learned that. No, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> that's not true. You said that you learned. Um, I knew how to spell your dad's name right. And but it was still your dad's name. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that I'm a good sleeper. Yeah, Wait, I, was, <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> I'm so out of it. No, I'm so tired. Um, let's pick up the end again. Um, all right. Well, I think that's all the questions <laughs> that we. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we leave it in? <laughs> That's so funny. I'm t- All right. All right. So that's all the 
time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, that's. So I'm funny. tired. No, it was good. It was good. Okay, okay. Well, we have to find out who won, right? Oh yeah. Okay, let's find out who won. I don't know how this is gonna get edited down, but. Alicia has ten. Remy has six. <laughs> hey, so you, Alicia won. I won. I'm gonna go home and ruminate on this loss. No, marinate on it. <laughs> I'm gonna marinate, no, marinate on this it. loss. I'm gonna marinate some chicken while I marinate on this loss. Exactly. And now, oh, of course. Speaking of newlyweds, um, we're going to Miami <gasps> next month. I know. On my first, your first ever too, right? Bachelorette trip, being a, like attending one. Oh my god, I think so. I Oh wait, no, 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 no. I've been, been on one. one, yeah. How was it but crazy? No, it wasn't crazy. I feel as though this one's gonna be crazy. This is gonna be unhinged. And I've been physically to Miami a few times, mm -hmm. but I've never gone out in Miami. I'm so scared. And for a bachelorette, it's gonna be absolutely insane. I am in my sober era also, and I am going to party and join in the fun. Which, I mean, you can still have fun and be sober, obviously. But I do want to, I'm, I'm just like waiting to dabble until I get there. And I'm really scared for my liver. <laughs> I am. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Also, we don't have to wake up. Also, I've gotten good at just dodging shots. I'm like, yeah, shot. And then I'm And then you it. throw it somewhere? Or I'll ask the bar. For, I'm like, can you get me a water shot? <gasps> That's a good question. I have been to Miami once for a brand trip, but I didn't go out like there were so many girls that were going out on that brand trip I just decided not to go and they would leave to go out at 2 or 3 a.m like they would go to the club at that time I'm yeah. sorry I'm in bed with my McDonald's by 2 a.m I feel like dare I say 11 maybe sometimes for sure <laughs> I'm a little nervous but it's gonna be so fun and I where would you have your bachelorette oh my god okay so I've been thinking about this a lot especially because Kaylee's engaged insane which I'm so excited about and we were not expecting it at all like we were all truly even she so truly surprised and so hopefully I will be engaged at some point in the future and so we presume we'll be engaged at the same time. So we're like, oh my God, like we can like plan things together, which will be really fun. So we were talking about bachelorette trips and I'm thinking, I think Vegas. I so see you in Vegas. Quintessential bachelorette trip in Vegas. Yeah. How about you? Honestly, I, I've never been stuck on a place cause I definitely want to have fun. I don't want it to be like Bus, a club, another club. Yeah, I another want it club. to be like chaotic and fun. I don't think I want it to be more relaxing. I've seen some people um, take that route. And I'm like, I mean, maybe that'll change when it actually comes. But I really want to, I want like, I don't know. I, I kind of want, I would do Vegas. I feel like Vegas is fun. I also have been to Scottsdale recently and that's like a new yes. hot spot. And that seems really, it seems like a little bit toned down, a little like one step down from Vegas, yeah. I think, or maybe a couple, but yeah. it looks fun. What are your thoughts on bachelorette and bachelor trips being at the same place, same time, and then meeting up for a night. I don't know. I feel like I could, I, I kind of like, I will say, and this feels very old rom-com. I like the idea of it being at the same weekend and the same time. Oh, but like maybe different places. Yeah, I feel like that's how in my head it always, or maybe that's how the tradition it used to be like the same exact weekend where now I know it's hard to get like certain schedules going, et cetera. Yeah. But knowing you both are like having the time of your life and like fun, I think that would be really fun. But I, I'm not opposed to the whole like meeting up thing. I'm like, I'm not sure what I want. Cal is the best man for his best friend's wedding that's coming in a few months. Oh. And so he's in charge of planning the bachelor trip. And I was like, what are you going to do? Um, when are you going to do it? Because I know some people do it like, uh, you know, like a few months before some people do it closer and mm -hmm. he's planning on doing it. Like then he was going to do it the night before the wedding. And I was like, that's a horrible idea because then you're all going to be hung over at the wedding. He was like, Oh, that's true. But I mean, I understand his thinking. He was like, it's so expensive for everyone to come here mm -hmm. and do a whole separate trip just for the bachelor trip. So They're thinking like maybe just doing it right before. And I was like, at least do it. And I saw Karen, I love Sarai uh -huh. did her I think it was her uh, rehearsal dinner. She did it like two nights before the wedding because she was like, then we had the day to recover before the actual yeah. wedding. And I was like, that's a good idea. So that is funny too, because I feel like, again, we old movies like The Hangover, like The Bachelor, The Bachelor was always the night before wedding. I don't know if that was a thing for a long time, but like horrible idea. Cause yeah, you're hung over. Yeah, like, I've never thought about that. Like, oh my God. 
And yeah, what happens if you lose your friend and you can't find him? And he's and on he, the roof. And he's of on somewhere. the roof of a hotel in Vegas of a casino. And then you're bare. You barely make it to the wedding. Like you don't need that energy. I want my bachelorette trip to be like the Hangover. Like oh not God. quite like the Hangover, but like I want stories that we will be telling our kids one day. Like part of me is even. This might be crazy. I would like love the idea. We should just do this when we go out one night is like getting us all burner flip phones. So we have each other's phone numbers, but like that's it. like our other phones are gone. No, because we need the content to remember. You can take we have cameras. <laughs> but the whole point is like no one's talking to like their guy. No one's like every we're all like here. Because that's what made oh, the hangover okay. so funny was like you can't just like find your friends, your person. You know? Oh, okay. Okay. Which Noted. obviously good for safety. I would hire a film crew also <gasps> to film it just Wait, why don't we just for the memories film oh, a reality show yeah. in Vegas. <laughs> so then we don't need our we can have a flip phone we can have a firefly do you remember a yes. firefly well that's what i'm saying like we get like a little cheap phone so we can still get in contact with each other but the, like social media is not a thing and it'll just feel like old you know back in the day i like that idea thoughts on phones at a wedding this is hard because i get how annoying it would be to pay so much for a professional photographer and only see phones in the crowd yeah um so i think i would be pro no phones yeah um but i also know that i will be making sure i have video and photos taken care of and some people don't care as much about photos so to them maybe they they do want those more like natural photos but yeah it is it is hard because i'm like mom i love you but I'd rather you focus because sometimes, you know, there's fingerprints on your lens and it's blurry <laughs> and you're not going to like the photos anyway. Like, trust me, I got it. Let's like enjoy the moment. I like no phones for the ceremony and phones are fine for the reception. I totally. think that's what I would think. Do you have any, were you a girly that like thought about her wedding when you were a kid? Not really. Mm. Where it's funny because I'm usually the dreamer and you're not. And this, I know for a fact you have. I wasn't like insane. Like honestly, the movie Bride Wars really formed my thoughts of my personal wedding like oh I didn't God. think about it before then but for some reason that movie just really resonated with me like I was like I need a June wedding like I have to have a June wedding now um the Vera Wang dress that Kate Hudson wears when I was oh a kid God. I was like I need that dress now I'm like I don't think that Wait, dress why June? Look good on me. um I don't know in the movie they both just were like June wedding oh. at the plaza that's funny because to me I think June is like really hot in LA I'm having a June wedding since that movie oh i know it's, it's, it's i'm just like i don't know why <laughs> i've always wanted that i've already decided what flower i'm gonna have um i i know nothing <laughs> I, I well i just recently thought about it okay i was don't like worry. shit <laughs> well also like i don't know if it's gonna even happen but i just like Someday. i've been thinking about it a lot oh my god TV. i've been pondering literally from brad wars though i will say too going classic with a wedding is just the best because there are certain trends that looking back, even just a few years ago, you're like, oh my God, that was such, even photo, like editing trends mm -hmm. at the time, it felt so good where now we look back and we're like, oh my God, that's chuggy. Yeah. You know? I'm not planning a wedding anytime soon, but I really love watching on TikTok. There are so many people that come on and say like, these are things that I did at my wedding that I would not do if I had another wedding because it was a waste of money. And yeah. I really take all those into account because who knows better than the people who paid for it and didn't like it. Who, there was an influencer who had her bachelorette and they, she had, oh, oh, Indy Blue. She's not I, I missed it. Oh my God. Her bachelorette looked sick and she did it very different. It was more like a, it almost felt like a brand trip. Oh, fun. For her and her friends. That's and, fun. And it was, it was real. Like there was like a limo. Was it a pink limo? I want to say it was a pink limo in Paris or something like that. Like Cute. it was, it was a very. Oh my God, a Paris bachelorette her trip. Photo, I think you'll actually recognize the photos from seeing them circulate because okay. it was like a moment where I was like, wow, it was just a different take lol because i just said oh i don't really want like a chill relaxing bachelorette and i'm like wait maybe i would do that i think it just depends on like where you're at in your life too yeah and also like, are all my like bride bridesmaids gonna be like moms with kids by the time i get married maybe oh. are they gonna be partiers i don't know like then. well also just because they're a mom with kids doesn't mean they don't want to party i will say that i will say that in my head i'm just thinking if i want vegas but everyone else doesn't want to go i don't want to choose vegas mm. like even though yes i no. should do whatever i want yes but i i i'm a person who's affected by energy so like if three people are sitting on their phone and not into it i would rather i'd rather just like well they shouldn't be there it's your bachelorette i agree and i'll do something about that thank you but do you know what i mean like i, I just, get it if everyone like does i don't want to be like let's do shots and i was like i don't want to be here you I, know yes i mean even after throwing like a birthday party or like a, the friends giving or whatever it may be i stress so much about whether or not people are having a good time that i truly was like maybe i won't even have a wedding because i don't want to spend the whole time 
worrying if people aren't having fun when I should be having the best night of my life. But this is where our friendship comes to a halt Mm. because I'm realistic. I'm like, Remy, we all know you're going to have a wedding. I know. But then you don't feel heard when you're like, no, I'm saying, what if I don't want? And I'm like, no, 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 no. (laughs) I I know. I know. You may not have one, but here's the thing. I know you're you're going to have have one. one. I really did think about it, but then ultimately I landed on, yes, I want to have a wedding. Even if it's a smaller wedding, I think a lot of people think I'm going to have like the craziest, biggest bash ever. Um, But realistically, I don't have like a big family. I have a lot of friends, but like not a ton of, obviously not a ton of close, close friends. So I could really decide what I want to do. But I really like the idea because like even at my birthday party this year, I had so much fun, but I spent the whole time Mm -hmm. saying hi to everyone and like catching up with everyone, which was really fun, but I didn't really get to party much yeah so I think if I were to have my wedding I would do like uh something like the day before like mm. a soiree of some sort where I'm like showing face having fun so then when I get to the wedding I'm like I already saw you all yesterday so have fun so when I was in Florence for my friend Haley's wedding mm-hmm. what I loved was it also was kind of like not a brand trip but like the the welcome party was a party in itself yes where welcome you can, party where you yes. can meet everyone like we actually were able to talk to her um and just like me you know his family her family her friends who I so by the time the wedding actually came and we also did a wine tour like everyone knew each other that's fun and I whether you do a destination wedding or not I liked that idea of having multiple things because I'm I mean so many other like countries or religions there there's multiple ceremonies and multiple parties versus just one that is 20 minutes and you can barely hear and you're like, I don't really know what's going on kind of thing. And they're like, oh, they're married. That's true. So I like the idea of doing multiple things so you can really like make friends. And for instance, my wedding, like you and Alicia actually getting time to hang out. Mm -hmm. I would love that versus just like, oh, hi, we kind of know each other. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Wait, so I just posted an Instagram and I asked you what I should caption it. And you said, ask people what their most like down bad moments were or lowest things they've done for a guy. Okay, wait, those stories that I've been telling about my past keep going viral. So I really need to tap into that and keep talking about them because you know them more than I remember them. And I feel like I need to just keep saying them because they're doing so well. No, Remy, when I tell you, like there's things that even I've blacked out. And when I hear, like even the roller coaster thing, when I'm like, oh my God, you really did give this guy a phone. It's you know, okay, but you're not the only one who's done stuff like that. It's so funny because like I didn't think that was that embarrassing. Like I've done so many worse things, so I think it's just funny. Like it's ha 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 oh, no. ha. No, it's moment. hilarious. But then once I posted it, the amount of people that have reached out to me that we know who have been like, "Oh my fucking god," that made me be like, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said this one out no, loud." <laughs> no, the only equivalent that I have to that was my passport. I was like, ha, this is so funny. And seeing people be like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I was like. <laughs> They're laughing at you, not I was, with no, you. No, I was like, I thought we were all laughing together. Yeah. Like collectively and we weren't. I've got to go back in my archives and think of more stories. Cause I know I've got a lot. I'm going to read some of these comments. Someone said, I literally paid for his food and his Ubers to see me. <gasps> been there. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> been there. Been there. Paid off his probation for him to dump me a week later. Oh. The odd men have audacity. one thing and that's the audacity drives one hour to see him and paid for our entire dates for him to cheat. <sighs> men have one thing and that's the audacity. <laughs> Remy. Yes. Before we end, I really want to dive into a question that I know a lot of people are wondering. Okay, please do so. How are you here and alive after being front row at the twice concert? Oh my God. So (laughs) you guys, I, the amount of comments that I got, I feel so much support and I feel so seen and heard by the pretty basic community, the basic bitches, Mm -hmm. the, what are we calling them? Basic babes or basic bitches. Pretty basic naters. Um, (laughs) They were so nice to me and commented when I like posted that I was there, like, I'm so happy you made it. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. And I felt so seen and loved and it meant the world to me. I traveled all the way to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey to see twice. I've never sat front row to a concert before. Me either. Oh also, my God. Can you see anything? Um, yes, but like not, they, it, they were so high up. I, I didn't take that into account, but I mean, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah. Um, 
it was amazing. I sat down in my seat. I also knew MetLife was outside, but I didn't think about MetLife being outdoors. I was, well, actually, I guess I did think about it because I was going to wear, remember when I said I had a really good outfit planned? I was going to wear a pink juicy tracksuit with a pink cowboy hat because there's like a subunit within Twice where they have the song where they wear that outfit. And I was like, easy, I've got it. I don't have to buy anything. And then I thought like, oh, it's going to be like in the 90s in New York. I feel like I was actually thinking more so traveling to there. I was going to be hot. Then I realized MetLife is outside. It was I think 85 degrees outside at 9.30 p.m. Oh my God. It was like in the 90s during the day and uh, 76% humidity. I just need to know how was Ollie alive? (laughs) He was not well. (laughs) We were so miserable like weather-wise, but like we had so much fun. It didn't even matter. Um, The two people sitting next to us were subscribers. Oh my God. Her name was Kylie. And if you are listening, I don't know if she is, but if she's listening, please DM me because I've been, I wish I had asked her for Instagram so I could follow her. She was so fun. Um, but it was amazing and they were incredible. And my favorite member waved at me Oh my God! and the concert went on for three hours. You mean they weren't like, Oh my God, you were at the billboard. Museum. I pulled <laughs> up the photo and I literally was holding it up so they could see me. I was so excited. Oh my God, I'm dead. It Three was hours. amazing. Damn. It was such a good concert. Um, I mean, I wanted to, I, like, I want to go to Paris and see them again now. Like they're tra- they're doing their European leg now and I've genuinely considered it. Thank you to all who checked in on me and it was the best night of my life. I truly was like thinking the whole, like gen- genuinely, because we were texting a little bit before they came on. And then I think you sent me a photo or something when you guys were there or Ollie did. And I remember for those like two hours, I was just like, oh my God, they're like having so much fun. Like I was, I like thought of you guys, I'm being dead ass. That's me when I was, what was I doing? And you were at home and you're like my best friend. Oh, at the Oscars, no, <laughs> my best friends. <laughs> my best friends at the Oscars. She saw Will Smith slap him. That was wild. Um, Yeah, no, it was amazing. It was so much fun. And I want to take you to like a K-pop concert one day. I would truly love, it's I would love. Un- also- Blackpink was the best at Coachella, hands down. So a three hour show, I can't imagine like how exhausted they are afterwards. I know. And oh, the I will say- choreography too is just like- The poor insane. girls. Ollie and I were like, are they okay? Cause like the whole concert, like they were just booking it up and down the runway to make it to their spots because they didn't stop for three hours. And they kept saying like, oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. And then Ollie and I like midway through were like, oh, they're like miserable. I think, yeah. If I'm like unwell from just standing there, imagine the like the dancing, the singing the and they their mics were on. So they crushed it. And then at the end they do like an encore where they get to just like play and like have fun. And then they were having a good time. Oh my God, yay. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, But I like, I've never been to a concert where like every person there I was talking about this with my aunt because she was a big BTS Mm -hmm. fan she was in army and um she was saying how like at a BTS concert or similarly at a K-pop concert you truly feel and I feel like this is also um similar to eras every single person there wants to do nothing else in the world than be at that concert Mm -hmm. tonight like it the the fandom was amazing and you feel electric like you feel part of a community yes you're like even how, like, even you making friends with the people next to you and like behind, you know what I mean? Like you're all there for the same reason. It's so cool. It was so fun. I brought back 48 bagels because everybody in my family and friends wanted bagels. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Sorry. No, I'm just glad. Yeah, did, your, bad. did your luggage break this time? No, but I brought a whole second luggage to bring back bagels <laughs> and my bagels weighed more than my suitcase with Stop. clothing, makeup and shoes. Stop. It was that heavy. Okay. But 48 is no, it was a lot, but everyone ate them all. <laughs> oh my God. It was amazing. Ollie had a great time. It was fucking hot, but it was so fun. Oh my God. Yay. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Thank I'm sorry you. I could not be there, but I'm so, so glad that you just lived your best life. You've got another year now to prep for the next Twice concert. It- so you can study there. Oh my God, wait. Ollie and I, I don't know if he's going to let me say this. We got like fully scammed though when we were in New York. He, of course, Ollie only does things that Lana does, as you know. So like it was his birthday trip. So I was like, you plan whatever you want to do and I will follow. So we went to like bookstores that I'm assuming Lana probably goes to. We went to like, you know, I picked the food and he picked anything else. And I guess there's this like record store. (laughs) 
Oh no, <laughs> you were telling me about There's this. this record store that I guess Lana frequents. And so he really wanted to go. And I was like, it's your birthday. Yeah. So we go and the work, the guy that owns it, he was so, so nice. He was just like very silly. Mm. Oh, I probably like shouldn't say all this, but he was like, he was just being very silly and um, like saying kind of crazy stuff about like celebrities that come in. Like he was trash talking some like really big celebrities and like all these sorts of things. And, um, but he was really nice and funny, but we ended up like buying vinyls there because I mean obviously what do you do when you go to a, a vinyl store and so we're like buying vinyls he's like oh my god this one's so hard to get this one that da, 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 da. and I ended up buying like five vinyls I think I got Taylor Swift speak now Taylor's version I got um the twice ready to be album and then I got three Daft Punk for Cal because he was like he loves Daft Punk and was like so stoked about it and the guy was like oh these are so hard to get you know you can't find these anywhere my total was 369 dollars for five vinyls I was like that seems Deep, but he didn't give me like a breakdown. Um, when we left, I looked on Amazon and they were all there for like $30 each. So I do believe that I was ripped off, but I did support a small business. There you go, Rem. And mm-hmm. when we go back to our newly game of who spends more money personally, that is why I put Remy. Yeah, I didn't. And Ollie also though bought some and we left and we're like, that was really expensive. Well, I remember you texting me so excited, being like, oh my God, we just got some like vinyls and they're so rare and da 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 da. And I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we were fully scammed, but he was very nice and he oh. gave us some good celebrity tea. Oh, well, honestly, maybe that's what you paid for. Pretty good celebrity. That's what I told Ollie when we were upset. He was upset. I was like, it's okay. Like, where else we're we gonna get that tea? So maybe the next episode we'll just be like, oh yeah, we heard somewhere, somewhere, somehow that like this person's a Mm b-i-t-c-h anyways thanks for listening guys (laughs) hope you enjoyed the episode thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're watching the youtube and go follow remy and i on our you know personal accounts and everything but we'll be back next week and um get excited we'll see you guys soon love you Bye. bye bye